Is all MFA really annoying? Hey, I'm John from West Bay IT, and this is how to set up multi-factor authentication on Microsoft 365. What does it look like? How often are you needing to do it? And how do you set it up to start with? It's all based on the Authenticator app. This is where all your accounts live, and it can support more than just Microsoft accounts. You'll see a bunch of codes changing every 30 seconds. These can be used even if you haven't got any signal, perfect for if you're in a not spot, but more often you'll be seeing a prompt to approve a sign-in. Microsoft is really cool in that they have combined both MFA and passwords to make logging in simpler. On your computer, you'd enter your email address and when you go to enter your password, instead it's asking you to enter a code on your phone. And you're done, no password needed. You might have noticed the map when you're signing in. It's not always gonna be that accurate. This is down to internet service providers and where their networks terminate. But if you see a sign in that's coming from another country, you know that somebody's trying to break into your account. The next question is, how often do I need to do this? Is it gonna be every time? Quite simply, it's gonna be no more often than you're already entering your existing password to log into your 365 account. For me, for Desktop Outlook, I hardly ever have to log into it, and it's more often when I'm using any of the web apps. There are other apps other than Microsoft 365 which may be more annoying and ask you to do the MFA every time you log in, um, especially if they're using the rotating codes. However, for these, a password manager can make that an awful lot simpler. To get started with Microsoft 365 MFA, you will need your computer and a mobile phone. Just those two. <laughs> On your computer, go to aka.ms forward slash MFA setup. Click to add a Authenticator app and download Authenticator on your phone if you haven't already got it. It's the one with the blue padlock. Just search Microsoft Authenticator in your app store and click next on your computer. On your phone, add a work or school account, click next and then scan that QR code. When you click next now, it will check it's all working and congratulations, you now have massively increased the security of your account. Microsoft also have the Authenticator Lite built into the Outlook mobile app. If this is enabled for you, you'll see a message about getting started. Authenticator Lite only works with the prompts, so you will need another authentication method set up on your account if you have problems. Hang on, why do I have problems with MFA, I hear you ask? Well, this is where your admin and IT support partner can help. If you find yourself locked out of your account because you've lost your phone or something else has gone wrong, they can reset it for you and you can register that device again or get yourself set up with MFA on another device. And this is very similar to how you do a password reset. If you lost your password, you ask for help. If you've enjoyed this video, here's another one we think you might like. I'm John from Westbury IT and I'll see you next time.